King Kudus, you may now take the throne. <laughs> Oi, oi, Savaloys. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. Welcome back to the West Ham Network and welcome back to five things we loved about the West Ham five <coughs> Freiburg nil game. We're through to the quarterfinals, third consecutive quarterfinals in a row for West Ham under David Moyes. What an unbelievable achievement, no matter how you feel about some of the style of play that is. And I, I'm honestly, an achievement that we could only have dreamt of and now we're living in. Um, and wow, wow. Later on this morning, stroke afternoon, we will be seeing who West Ham will take on place in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. And it's a lot of really interesting teams. So make sure you do join us for the live draw. That will be starting around about midday. So keep your eyes on the channel for that one. Now, I am here to bring you the best of the game. The five things that we loved, the five things that we learned, the five things that brought us the most joy about the game against Freeburg. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, the first one I want to talk to you today about is this man, Creswell. Yes, Creswell, because... The guy has been in for a lot of criticism over his life at West Ham, in particular over the last couple of years, especially after getting sent off in the Europa League a couple of years ago, again, doing the same thing last year. And, you know, he's been a pivotal part to West Ham's success over the last, you could say, five years, etc. And he's coming onto the wrong side of his 30s, or he is on the wrong side of his 30s. And, you know, he was slow and not really offering us an outlet. Now, the difference between having, say, a Creswell who fits the bill to not be the number one starter, but turn up when he needs to, and that is what he is exactly doing. And this shows the benefit of keeping some players around who have a strong amount of experience, and he certainly does. But it's not just that, is if they're turning in performances, and he is, and he did, and his whipping in the balls into the box, his whipping into the balls from corners, was a bit like the old days of... Aaron Creswell, in the 90 minutes that he played, he made two clearances. He won 50% of his aerial duels. He won a quarter of his ground duels. Um, he had 43 touches. He was successful with 68% of his passes. Um, but his all-round play down that left-hand side really allowed him and Kudus to make that connection down there. And we do miss, obviously, not having Emerson in the team. However, it's great to think we can rely upon the experience of Creswell. And rightly so, he deserved to get himself a goal on top of, well, I was going to say the assist from the corner, but he didn't because Suchek gets that assist as well. So top player, top man, top geezer. Um, glad you're here and amongst the squad and deservedly so. Got yourself a goal I don't think he will be, of course, a starter. I don't expect him to be a starter for West Ham moving forward for the future. He is not the future, but it's great to have that experience around that can really help transpire what this is in, in, in European football. Now, next, I want to talk to you about this man, Mickey Antonio, another player um, in the same situation as Creswell. But what we saw last night was the old Antonio, the Antonio that stepped up and was supported from the front of the line I tell you what, he ran his socks off for the 80 minutes that he played. 35 touches, 79% pass completion rate. One key pass in that game, creating one big chance, winning half of his ground duels, winning a quarter of his aerial duels, making one clearance. But it was about what he brought to the game. He caused havoc, absolute havoc in that first half. Um, and Freiburg didn't really know what to do. His hold-up play was great, and he was bringing in the creative players in and around him. And when you've got that creativity in and around you, that's all you can offer and all you can do. And that's what he was doing. He was doing it all of the jobs that he was destined to do. Again, it's really exciting to have Antonio back fit because the fact that he fitted into this and slotted into this team is really interesting because it makes you feel a little bit more confident for the future if we do keep players like Pakita, Kudus and Bowen and even if we don't keep all and keep most 
but we look at the creativity, then it means that playing with a striker could actually work because the four of them really worked well together. In particular, Antonio, hold up play, strong strength, you know, taking on players. He did it down the right-hand side, nearly bagged himself a goal, nearly set up a goal for Kudus as well. So a really top-notch performance from Antonio. It felt like the Antonio of old, didn't it? It absolutely did. Now, another player I want to talk to you about is a player here, Tommy Suchek. And I felt like he was thriving in the game against Freeburg. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is the fact that, you know, West Ham dropping James Ward-Prowse and West Ham going with two central midfielders rather than the three felt that he actually had to come in and do the job he was destined to do. He played the full 90 minutes. He had 40 touches on the ball, 71% pass completion rate. Um, but he won three quarters of his aerial duels. He made four clearances, two interceptions, um, a, a, a sh blocked one shot uh, and, and, and made one assist in the game as well. But for me, what I'm seeing with Tommy Suchik is a bit like the kind of days when we had Pakita and Declan Rice and they really seen how he was doing all the dirty work behind the scenes. I really think, in actual fact, he probably, when West Ham play well, it's also because he goes under the radar and does all the dirty work behind the scenes. Uh, and he was doing that um, in the game against Freiburg as well. So um, a positive move from David Moyes to change it up and not have the three in the in the middle of the park and only have the two. And I think that really worked for us. I'm um, going to be gutted to miss Alvarez for the quarterfinal first leg, but hopefully we have that one away and we can bring um, him back into the team for the London Stadium tie. But um, I wonder if this is a way forward for West Ham, you know, playing with that kind of four attacking outlet up top. I don't think it'll happen every single week, but I think it'll happen where necessary and and and, and that was necessary. So, um, yeah, put your comments in and let me know your thoughts on Tommy Suchek. The next one is, of course, youth. And we saw our man, George Earthy, come on the park for West Ham, which is absolutely phenomenal. Another product of the West Ham um, youth system. Um, born in 2004, he is 19 years old and he's enjoyed a, a very good start to his youth career with West Ham. He is a midfielder. He only got really kind of seven, eight, nine minutes in the park, but it's good to be able to think that we can and Moyes' decisions highlighted the fact that he would change things a lot earlier um, and he did and he absolutely did and by bringing on um, George Earthy just again shows the club that we can give these players a little bit of game time look at the players face I mean that says it all but it's not even just about the youth it's about the decision that David Moyes made from his substitutions in general and um, if I think back to the Pakita coming off and Pakita wasn't happy but it was the right decision decision by Moyes and we have to give credit because normally we give discredit when he does something dramatically wrong but he'd done the total right thing in bringing um, Pakita off at the time and allowing another player to come on to save him thinking of the Aston Villa game ahead for the future so listen exciting times for the youth exciting times for players like George Earthy to get given the chance um, to, to, to make his debut in a West Ham shirt but last but not least the fifth point i want to talk to you about is this man and i think really do you know what we've got such ourselves a talent and we're calling him king kudus because he is you know time to take up your throne mate i mean what an absolutely he must be one of the most humble footballers you will ever see in the modern game in the in the professional game he is a model 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 professional he's such an exciting player exuberant player that has everything, va va boom. I remember doing the watch along and I was talking about how he wasn't, you know, doing so well going forward. The comments were saying it, but it was what he was doing off the ball was astronomical amount of work for our team. He made two clearances, two interceptions. He made four tackles um, and he was winning half of his ground duels at the same time. But on the back of that, he also had um, two shots on target. He scored two goals. He was accurate with 100% um, of his long balls in the game. And he was also accurate with 95% of his passing in this game. It was an all-round performance from um, Mo Kudus and topping it off. I mean, two wonderful goals, but the second goal, man. 
Oh my God, my Mar Maradona esque, no word of a lie, at European tie. And the guy has been involved in 20 goal involvements since joining the club. 20 goal involvements. We have got ourselves a cracker. We've got ourselves a new king. The new king is in town and his name is Mo Kudos. The best thing about that game was this man here. Man of the match performance from him. Um, and yeah, it was massively, massively exciting to see us get through to the, the, the quarterfinals, of course. Now, um, to finish it off, I'm delighted. I'm buzzing. I'm excited. Such a big topic of interest of conversation to think, do West Ham and should West Ham play that way all the time? And in actual fact, I don't think we probably should because I think that's where some other teams falter is when they try and take every single game to it. However, I think we should do it more often than not. There it is, more often than not. And I think by that way, we could be potentially, could, you know, keywords, eight, nine points better off in the Premier League and maybe put some ties to bed a lot earlier than what we have. Anywho, there's the five things I loved about the West Ham 5. Freeburg, no. 5-1 aggregate. Europa, last 16 as we move into the quarterfinals. Join us later on for the draw. Take it easy. And of course, come on, you wonderful Irons. Irons. Oh,